DM everybody. If you're watching this video, it means two things. Number one, you have made excellent life decisions. And number two, the Aztec test set is finally live. We've been building this thing over the past eight years. I know maybe it seems like we've just been tweeting the word privacy every once in a while, but I promise you, we've got this test net launch. We're fully decentralized from day one and you can interact with it today in your browser using something that we're calling the playground. You don't have to install any CLI or any complicated tools. Just go to play.aztec.network and go and play with our test net right now. I'm gonna spend the next two minutes just teaching you how the playground works, how you can interact with it today, and I hope afterwards you're gonna to go to it and go try to break things. All right, so I've just gone to play.aztec.network. If it's your first time, you're gonna see something like this as well. Just telling you a little bit about Aztec. You can have a read here, learn about our kind of abstraction and, our, and how privacy works on Aztec. You've also got three drop downs here. We've got Aztec Testnet. This is just telling us the different networks that we can connect to. You can connect to the, t the testnet, the devnet, or if you've got a local sandbox running, you can connect to that as well. We're gonna use testnet. You can also select an account or create one, and you can select the different contracts to deploy and interact with it. So the first thing we're gonna do is create an account, because we need an account to do anything on any network. So there's different, ASIC has completely native account abstraction, so you can have any sort of different types of accounts with different signatures or different ways of authenticating. We're gonna use this ECDSA R1 because it's kind of what the web uses. You can use like Google sign-ins and use pass keys and all these different abstractions for accounts if we go with this one. So we're gonna call it like account or something, give it an alias, it's gonna be easier to use if you're using multiple accounts. And then we're gonna select the way that we're gonna deploy this and how we're gonna handle fees is with the sponsored fee paying contract and hit create and deploy. So this sponsored fee paying contract, again, because Aztec has fully native account abstraction, we don't have to like cover the cost ourselves or get an account and put some fees into it. We can just use this account we've already deployed on testnet and it's going to cover fees completely. So what's happening right now is I've created an account and I'm now deploying it to the network. A fun little thing about Aztec is that if you're only interacting with private transactions or private contracts, you actually don't need to deploy your account to the network because all you're doing is generating proofs and sending the proofs to the network and you're generating your proof that what you did was, was okay. But we are gonna be interacting with public functions, so we're gonna, inter we're gonna deploy our, contract, our account contract to the network. So if we scroll down here, we now see that we have this like past transactions column in here. All our transactions are gonna show up in here, and we can scroll down and see that we have a pending transaction going on here. So we've already actually generated our proof, our client side um, zero knowledge proof, that was really fast. Well, it takes like between 20 to, to 60 seconds. And now we are sending that proof and the transaction information to the Aztec network and just waiting for it to be mined. Okay, here we go. All right, our first transaction has been mined. It is on the Aztec testnet. Um, what we did is we simulated the transaction client side. We generated a proof. We sent it to the, the Aztec network and we got confirmation that it was included in the block. So you can share this on X if you want. If I click this button, I'm not gonna do it because I'm recording this the day before Aztec Testnet is launched. I don't want people to get excited, but this is our transaction hash. We can view it on an Explorer as well. That might take some time to load. And you can also go ahead and join the Discord and, and share your first transaction. All right, so now we have an account and we're connected to it here. And that's, it's just called account because I called it account and we can see our transaction in here. So now we're gonna select a contract. We've got two contracts here that we've already written for you and, and put into here so you can play around with those. You can also upload your own if you if you fancy playing around with building Aztec contracts. We've got simple private voting and simple token. So today I'm just gonna talk about simple private voting. When we click on that, it's gonna bring up this modal in order to deploy the contract. We can also load an already deployed version of the contract if you have deployed one, but we haven't yet, so let's give it this. So this simple private voting contract has one constructor and the constructor is just asking you like, what is the admin of this? Who's gonna be the person who can actually end a vote or something? So we're gonna select the account that we just created and the one that we're connected with, that is our admin. Again, we're gonna use the sponsored fee paying contract to deploy it. We can also use fee juice if I had any fees in my account, but I don't, so let's use this instead. And we'll give this an, an alias. So let's call it easy private voting. Now we're gonna deploy it. This will take like a similar amount of time. We can see here that we're deploying easy private voting and we are generating a zero knowledge proof. So while we're waiting on that, we can have a look to see what's actually in the contract. These are all the functions. 
that exist in this contract. So we can cast a vote that's going to take in the person that we want to be voting for, and then we can send that transaction to the network. We can also get the vote to get the results of the vote. The thing that will be private is the person who actually voted. Anyone can see the number of votes, but nobody can see who's voted. We can end a vote. Only the admin can do this. So the person who I selected as the admin when I was deploying the account can end that vote, so I can. And then we also have our constructor here, which we've already used. All right, proof generated successfully, setting transaction. Whoops. Um, let's give it some time. So we can take a few seconds and then we can play around with our contract. All right, our transaction is now on the network. Um, we see all the same information as we did when we deployed our account. So now we can just play with it. We can see up here that we are connected to the address of the contract. You can also copy it if you want and we can play around with it. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is cast a vote. So for this contract, our candidates are just numbers. So let's vote for number one. We can simulate it, which will just run it locally, or let's just send it to the network. Why not? So we're going to send it to the network again using the sponsored fee payment contract. Um, we're not going to use an offlet on here. If you want to learn some more about offlets, I recommend going to our docs. But offlets is a short form of authentication witnesses, um, which lets you let another person do a transaction on your behalf. But we're just going to do it ourselves. So currently, what's going on here? We're executing cast vote. We are generating our zero knowledge proof client side again, and then we're gonna send it to the network. We can also see some more of our transactions up here. So we deployed an account, an easy private voting. And I'm just gonna speed this along a little bit because we've already seen how, how transactions are, are made on ASIC. Yay! Our transaction was successful! So we should be able to call get vote now and then see that we have one vote for candidate number one. Let's just click simulate. This does not need to be sent to the yay! We have one! We have one vote. We can also just test to see if candidate zero has any votes. No! Yay! Okay, so now we're gonna go to end vote. I am the admin, as you can see, that I am logged in with the account that we've selected as our admin. So I should be able to send the transaction to end this vote. Then we can try to vote again and it shouldn't work. Using the same parameters, we're deploying with our, our calling our transaction with our sponsored fee paying contract. Oh, we've already seen all this. We're just gonna zoom through this. While we're waiting for this transaction to be sent, we can also have a look at it here. We have a thousand logs. These are the, are the logs from our private execution environment, AKA our Pixie. Um, so if you're, if you're you know, a bit of an ass tech pro, you can have a look in here and see what's actually going on. Um, it's basically all the things that are happening when you click on this transaction. Okay, you can't see them right now, but whenever the proof is being generated, the Pixie gets throw in a little log to tell you what's going on. So you can have a look at those if you wanna learn a little bit more about the in-depths of the private execution environment. Yay! All right, so we have now ended the vote because I was an admin, I was allowed to do that. And now if we go on and we try to actually vote again, we should get an error. Do, 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 do. We don't need to send it to the network, we just need to simulate it at this point in time. Yay, we have an error. Well, we actually, this error is because we've already voted. We can't vote again. Awesome, okay. Cool. We can also have a look at our other contracts. Let's have a look at the simple token. So this simple token takes in a constructor. Whoops. It takes in a name, a symbol, and decimals to the constructor. Let's call it token. Symbol will be token. Decimals will give us 16. Classic. And then we can just call it token contract and hit create and deploy. I'm not going to interact with this too much today because you can have a look at this yourself. This is really cool. But as this is being deployed, we can have a look to see what's going on. We can do private transfers. We can mint privately to our own account. We can transfer tokens from private to public and also from public to private. That's because you have that hybrid state, hybrid execution. And we can do a bunch of other private stuff and public stuff as well. So I recommend playing around with this token and seeing what you can do. Maybe you can send some tokens to your friend who's also playing with the playground and 
send them privately and then they can redeem them and turn them into a public token. You know, it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. And that is the Aztec Playground, the easiest way to interact with Aztec Testnet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn more, go to play.aztec.network, docs, play around with our docs a little bit um, and try to build stuff. And you can join our Discord, say hello. Tell us everything that you've done on the playground. Privacy! <laughs>